During the holiday season, there are many complexities of family dynamics. There are stressors of cost for presents and travel expenses, the pressures of hosting and organizing and extra busy schedules. And for some individuals, they're experiencing increased feelings of loneliness or grief and loss. And so there are many ways that we wanna talk about approaching the holiday stress to be able to enjoy our time together and to reflect on the positive pieces instead of it becoming an even more stressful time that we can't wait until it's over. Some of these areas to think about for individuals that are finding that their minds are running and racing, some individuals find participating in practices of mindfulness and meditation as something useful to help to clear the mind, to help them to, in general to be able to focus on the positive things. It doesn't have to just be clearing your mind, but being able to spend more time paying attention to the present in the moment with friends and family, instead of focusing on all of the things that you have to get done or that you haven't been able to do. It's important to work on preventing burnout during this season, and that means it's okay to say no. It's okay to simplify things. While you may want to make everything perfect, maybe it's been a tradition to make every previous family recipe and make your grandmother's cookies, this may be the year that you may simplify and you don't make every batch of cookies, or you may purchase some things from a local bakery to support local small business and take some of that time back that you can focus in other directions. That idea of plant neglect that we've talked about before. For. It's also okay to take a break. There can be times of high tension, high stress. It's okay to walk away for a moment. That doesn't mean that you're weak. It just means that you're giving yourself that chance to reset so that you can come back fully present and in a position where you have good control of your emotions and are able to approach situations and say things that you want instead of things that you may regret when we're feeling stressed and tired. Also, it's important to make sure to take some time to get some fresh air and sunlight. It doesn't mean that you have to be participating in winter sports, but we do know that getting outside, getting some fresh air, getting exposure to natural light can help to lift the mood for individuals, especially during a time of year when it's getting darker earlier. If you are someone that is currently getting services in therapy, make sure that you are staying in those during this time. It's very easy for the busy schedules and the hustle and bustle to get the best of us and to cancel. So make sure that you are still prioritizing those things that you need for yourself, your workouts, a therapy session, a stretch session. And if you are experiencing the grief and loss, and it is common that people will feel that around the holidays, for some, especially the first year that they have lost a loved one, instead of trying to avoid those emotions, giving yourself the chance to focus on the positive memories and recognizing that there is opportunity for financial stress as well. So maybe it's thinking outside the box, doing a secret Santa so each person gets one present instead of having to give presents for everyone. So being able to share the holiday tasks, share the burden, reflect together, set realistic expectations for yourself and your loved ones, keeping up with those healthy habits and making sure that you're giving yourself that chance to take those few moments to unwind. Happy holidays and be well.